Hello everybody and welcome back to Tunes Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about 10 fragrances that I'm absolutely loving. I absolutely love it. We're going to get t-shirts with that slogan or that phrase on the t-shirt. I absolutely love it because I say it a lot apparently. Yeah. So today I want to go through 10 fragrances that honestly have just been blowing my mind. I absolutely love all 10 of these. I cannot wait to share them with you. And let's just jump right into it with number 10. Coming in at number 10 is a fragrance from my very good friend Ashton's house, Galleria Parfums. And this is Cognac Cafe. Cognac Cafe to me smells a lot like a shot in the dark. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially espresso with hot chocolate. It's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. Chocolatey, gooey, has that pastry-like vibe to it with some coffee. I think if you like fragrances like Black Phantom by, by Killian, then you will like Cognac Cafe. And it's the same perfumer as well. I absolutely love wearing this. I just picked this up. Um, wanted to support my, my very good friend Ashton and I picked this in another fragrance up that I'll be talking about very soon. I will review this in the next month and a half or so, so look out for that. But this is perfect for the fall weather it's a cozy fragrance, it's warm, it's sensual, and I've really been enjoying wearing it. So, Cognac Cafe, Galleria Parfums. Coming in at number nine is a fragrance that I've really been enjoying as well. I don't feel like any of these are really, uh, even though we're going in descending order, I feel like they're all fragrances that I wear often for different occasions. There is no real like number one or number 10. I love them all for different scenarios. But this one is perfect for work or just casual date out and I absolutely love it. It is by Yves Saint Laurent. This is called Y Le Parfum. Now, Y Le Parfum to me is an aldehydic, apple-y type fragrance. It has kind of a champagne feel to it. Uh, it's clean, there's a little bit of sweetness, and overall, it just smells like you're fresh out of the shower with some kind of fall nuances with that apple. I really do enjoy this. This gets a lot of compliments. It is going to be one of those like blue type fragrances like Blue de Chanel or your Sauvage. Although I do think that this is my favorite of the bunch. So if you're looking for a nice clean new fragrance that's meant for casual use or work use, definitely check out Y Le Parfum. I've been loving it. This is great for the fall weather. Coming in at number eight is a fragrance that is actually a gift from my friend Chad up in Toronto. You know him as A Gentleman's Journey. Uh, I did a video with him not too long ago where we covered this line, so this is a spoiler warning for whether or not Chad has uploaded his review yet. <laughs> but I do really love this fragrance and he ended up actually getting this for me because I loved it so much. So thank you again so much, Chad, for your hospitality, uh, for wanting to do a video with me and for gifting me with this. This is La Comedia and this is from Ferragamo's Private Line. To me, La Comedia is perfect in the fall weather. This is amber and sweetness in some woods. I don't think that this is something that's necessarily dressed up or dressed down. I think it's very versatile. If you're looking for a versatile, upper scale, sweet, ambery fragrance, I think you should definitely check this out. This is seriously slept on. I really love this. This is going to be getting a lot of wear from me this fall. I absolutely enjoy wearing this. I've worn it four or five times now, even when I'm just lounging around, doing chores around the house, or watching Halloween movies with my fiance. This is something that I've really, really been pulling out quite a bit, and I will continue to do so throughout the fall season. So if you like amber fragrances, check this out. Coming in at number seven is a newfound fragrance that I was sent from DS and Durga. I really have been enjoying this. I will be reviewing this soon as well. Um, this is I Don't Know What. Now this is a fragrance that is considered to be a fragrance enhancer, but I think that it's wonderful on its own. It projects, it lasts. It smells like Ambroxan and ISO E Super. It has that clean, woody, creamy, effervescent vibe to it. And I absolutely love this. This is a compliment magnet. If you're looking for something that just lasts and has a linear smell throughout your day, your work day, give this a shot. It is inoffensive, it's sexy, it's clean, very, 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 very enjoyable to wear. I have been loving I Don't Know What by Dias and Durga. 
Thank you again so much, Dias and Durga, for sending this to me. I appreciate it, and I love this brand. Amber Teutonic is a fragrance that I just reviewed last week, so go check that out if you have not yet. That is my favorite fragrance from the brand thus far. But this right here, wonderful fragrance, clean, sexy, I don't know what. Dias and Durga. Coming in at number six is a fragrance that is just nuts. It's absolutely nuts. If you are someone who is really delving into the niche world more, and you want a fragrance that is not commercial whatsoever, and challenging, smoky, intense, and really the exact embodiment of what niche should be, I highly recommend this fragrance right here. This is coming out of the house of Beaufort, London. This is Iron Duke. Oh, Iron Duke is a fragrance I fell in love with just about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Uh, my fiance and I had taken an impromptu trip to Ohio and we wanted to go check out Cleveland. We're in the lockdown, just wanted to get out, get an Airbnb and enjoy ourselves. This is a sample that I ordered along with two others, ended up falling in love with all three. The other two were Chris Collins, Dan Savage, and Arquiste's Architects Club. Ended up purchasing all three, but this was the last one that I ended up picking up not too long ago, just because it's the one that is not gonna get as much wear out of me because of the nature of the kind of fragrance that it is. This is the epitome of niche. This is smoke, gunpowder. It's a little metallic. It has a little bit of a screechy citrus in there. It's basically trying to encapsulate a battle of sorts. And I really, really love this. I love the house. This is one of many that I've picked up from the house. So you're gonna see this brand popping up quite a bit. But if you're looking for that really enjoyable, smoky, dense fragrance for fall, check out Iron Duke. Coming in at number five is a fragrance that I think is just so sexy. I got to smell this at Zoologist with Victor Wong himself and some other wonderful fragrance aficionados. I was there with Rush and Manny and quite a few other wonderful people, including my cameraman, Alex. Hi, Alex. And this, this one, when I smelled it, I absolutely had to have it. I went to go purchase it and Victor ended up gifting me with it. So thank you so much, Victor. I really do appreciate it. This fragrance is gonna get tons of wear out of me. I have worn it at least five or six times since I've come home. And it's just cozy and clean and sexy. And this is none other than Zoologist Macaque Fuji Apple Edition. I love this. To me, apple is a very difficult note to pull off in fragrance. It usually ends up smelling very artificial and syrupy, unless you're going the gourmand route and you're purposefully trying to make it come across as a dessert. But this is not in the dessert realm. This is a spicy, clean, fresh, mouth-watering apple, and I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. So this might actually be a contender for my favorite from Zoologist right now. Uh, toss up between this and Camel. But this is gonna get so much wear out of me throughout fall. I think that's the perfect time where it's transitioning from, you know, that 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit to the 60 to 70 degrees and then lower at nighttime. I absolutely love this with a cold brisk, cold brisk sort of rustling of the leaves going across aesthetic. I love this so much and I'm gonna get so much wear out of this in the coming month. Coming in at number four is a fragrance that is very special. I absolutely adore it. It puts a smile on my face immediately, kind of like the uh, fragrance that I just spoke about, Macaque Fuji Apple, has the same effect on me. This fragrance is just clean, sexy, invigorating, energetic, and it's got a little bit of everything. This is from Senyoko, and this is Migration de la Arbe which I'm sure that I really butchered that just now, so I apologize, but this is just beautiful. This is yuzu, uh, some other citruses like grapefruit, flowers, cedarwood, oak, gorgeous fragrance. Now, for me, this is a fragrance that I discovered at the Toronto September meetup that I went to with Rush, my friend Alex, and Manny, that Manny had set up. Thank you so much, I appreciate your efforts and your time, Manny. You uh, did a wonderful job, it was a great turnout. And this fragrance was the one that 
I just fell in love with initially, but surprised there's going to be another one on here that I also discovered there. This is everything that I've wanted in a spring and summer fragrance, but I also think that this is wonderful for fall. So if you're looking for a fragrance that kind of has an effervescent, sparkly quality to it with some sea salt accords, some flowers, and some woods, check this out. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is coming in at number four. Senyoko Migration de la Arbe. Coming in at number three is a fragrance that I've absolutely fallen in love with, and I didn't really expect to. I'm not a huge fan of Fougere, or at least I thought I wasn't. But as of the last, I guess, year and a half or so, I've really, really been embarking on a Fougere journey, and I've been discovering Fougeres that I love. Now, a few years ago, well, probably more than a few, when Invasion Barbare by MDCI came out, I absolutely fell in love with that. And I do love Amouage Reflection Man, which has facets of a Fougere. But this fragrance right here is probably currently my first or second Fougere favorite. And it's from the House of Nishane. This is B612. B612 to me has some of those classic facets of something like a Brut. There's spicy elements in here. And then it has some really wonderful barbershop vibe with the cleanliness, but I don't get an overdose of lavender in this, which is nice, so it's a little bit different. It's almost like you combined Brute with Invasion Barbare, and it comes up with the B612. It's a very spicy Fougere, and I absolutely adore it. This is clean, gentlemanly, sexy, and refined. I am loving this right now, and I think this is perfect for that kind of cool breeze weather. So not too hot, not too cold, right down the middle. This fragrance is perfect for any occasion, but I do think that it's really especially wonderful for a formal event. B612 by Nishan A is gonna get a lot of wears out of me in the coming months. I really have been enjoying this. Coming in at number two is a fragrance that has been getting a lot of love for me. This is something I've been wearing at least two or three times a week, and it's just gonna get so much more wears out of me as we progress into the fall weather. This is something that a very good friend of mine, Alexandra Short, had sent to me, a little sample. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And uh, this is none other than Tabacolor by Dior. This is the Privé line. And oh my God. Now I do think that tobacco fragrances can become very redundant. This one is very different than a lot of the ones that I've discovered over the years. Tobacco used to be probably my favorite note. It's still in my top 10. But this is something that I don't feel like is reluctant at all to have in your collection. It's very honeyed, there's a little bit of smoke, there's a really beautiful tobacco note, and there's a really good dose of woods in here that's very, very modern, sophisticated, sexy, and I've absolutely been enjoying this. This is so good in the cooler weather. Probably, currently, my favorite Dior fragrance that's on the market anyways. Eau Noir is probably my favorite overall, but alas, we can't get it. But this is so enjoyable for me. I think you can dress it up, dress it down. Very, very, very sexy. Love it so much. Coming in at number two. And my number one fragrance right now that is just bringing me so much joy is something that I discovered at the September meetup from Daniel. Thank you so much, Daniel, for selling me a couple decants to hold me over till I got a bottle. This is <laughs> so beautiful. So unique. This is Interlude Woman. Yes, Interlude Woman. For all of you out there that are afraid to check out anything that is labeled as for women, marketed for women, don't be afraid, especially in the realm of perfumery. It is all just a marketing ploy. This is so intoxicating. I cannot cannot emphasize enough on how delicious this smells. This is kiwi, incense, woods, mouthwatering, absolutely mouthwatering. One of the best fruity fragrances I've ever tried in my entire life. This is quickly gonna make it in my top at least 30 of all time. I am so stunned by this fragrance. This is in my top three homage already, bar none, wearing this so much. The fiance loves it on me. 
It's sweet, invigorating, juicy, lasts for forever and a day, perfect for the weather that we're currently experiencing, and I cannot suggest it or recommend it to anyone out there enough. Please check out Amawash Interlude Woman. Well, everyone, thank you so much for being with me again for another top 10 list. I hope you all enjoyed. I will talk to you all soon. This was my number one right here, Interlude Woman, and I hope you're all smelling really good out there. I will talk to you all in the future very shortly. Bye. Because he's afraid he's going to fall and, and tumble into the water. He's going to clap. Ha, 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 there's a duck in the water.